Hi and welcome Virgo, Rose Burnett here from Mind Body Soul Balance. This is your mid-month tarot reading for March 2019. It is a general reading, so use your own intuition and guidance and what resonates with you, leave what does not. If you want a personal reading with me more attuned to your own energy and circumstances, reach out. I'll pop the link on this video and in the description box below. There is a coupon code running this month. You can get $10 off the 45 minute extended personal reading with me. The uh, code's gonna pop up over here in a second. All you need to do is take it across to the booking form. It is case sensitive. Enter it when prompted to get your $10 off here. Yeah? Everything else you need to know is in the description box below. If you're brand new to my channel, big welcome, awesome to have you here. Uh, a little bit about me, I'm an intuitive tarot reader. I'm also a transformational coach in mind, body, soul balance and mindfulness as well as an energy healer. I work with clients all around the world with distance Reiki energy healing to uh, help them move from stuck states, clear karmic attachments and cords from the past, as well as clear and balance, revitalize the chakras, the chi energy, heal the soul light, the inner child, as well as I can read the Akashic records, uh, your soul light origin, as well as any past life information that comes through, it just depends on how blocked your chakras are, yeah. The reason I share this with you is I bring all, all of those skills, experience, the wisdom to my readings, so they're a bit different. And uh, I guess I just ask you to keep an open mind and open heart, allow the guidance to flow through to you. And uh, if you like what you see, you enjoy it, hit the subscribe button, you'll get more great content from me. For those of you that are uh, subscribers and you follow me all the time, I just wanna say a big thank you and most appreciative of your support. You're rocking awesome. All right, let's get started with your reading. So, got lots of beautiful crystals sitting on each deck. I've uh, called in my higher spirit guides as well as any angels or beings of light watching over you at this time to help with the guidance. So, gonna open up your reading with the crystal spirit deck. And let's see what you need to know there, go. For uh, whenever you're watching this up until the end of March. And uh, if you haven't checked out your monthly ones, make sure you go and check that out too. Highest level guidance for Virgo at this time please. Oh wow, I don't think this has ever come out. You pull DFTs, inner riches, beautiful colours, very deep green. Uh, let me pull you up the guidance. And it says Virgo, the spirit of DFTs appears as the green Tara sitting in meditative pose. Her strong presence radiates love and compassion. Her image empowers one's ability to forgive, which in turn brings healing to all levels. Old patterns, outdated karma can just drop away. One can get lost in this exquisite deep green of this stone. It sings to the heart of the richness of our own inner truth, the peace that comes from honouring its place in our life. How beautiful. DFTs ask these two questions. What are my inner riches? How can I express them with an open heart? When DFTs appears in your reading, it's time to see what's maybe holding you back from being true to yourself. It shows you where you hold on to old patterns, beliefs and karma. DFTs invokes an understanding of the power of forgiveness. Forgiving yourself and others not only creates an openness in your heart, it helps you to understand the true meaning of your inner riches. And uh, there's a little practice here about forgiveness. It says, for today, make an effort to truly forgive yourself or someone else. It's not always easy to do, but if you succeed, you will feel your heart expand and the fear slip away. Uh, you can do that without um, actually communicating it to someone. Yeah, you can just do it consciously. Um, you can just picture them, forgive them, cut the cords and ties to their, their energy to your aura, yeah, vice versa. Um, there's a brief meditation here which says, Imagine yourself standing before Green Tara in a cave of sparkling green crystals. She opens her eyes and looks right into you. You feel yourself filling with love and compassion as her open hands reveal a beautiful green stone to you. She gives you this as a reminder of the joys of living in a state of love. Place it over your heart where it will be invisible to others but you will always know it's there gently reminding you of the joys of living in openness. Oh, so beautiful, I've got to say. I don't think that card's actually ever come out before. All right, let's have a look at four key areas of focus for you in the next couple of weeks in terms of challenges, opportunities, things you need to work on, things possibly coming your way with the uh, Energy Oracle. 
All right, what is it that Virgo needs to know? Highest level guidance, please. Oh, two here. Oh, okay. For some of you, it kind of ties directly into DFTs. Uh, you're recovering from a broken heart, yeah? Key message there is to forgive yourself and forgive others, yeah? And <laughs> here it is, the attachment to the past. Wow. Wow, no wonder that first card came out. All right, let's see what else you need to know, Virgo. Mm, you're on a journey. I'm going to say a journey of transformation and healing. All right, let's see what else. Key focus for Virgo at this time. You also put anxiety, so there's a bit of anxiety at the moment surrounding you. Uh, you've also pulled the walking away card, which wants to come out with it, yeah? So it's about walking away from the broken heart, the attachment that's holding you stuck, letting it go. Let's see what else comes out in terms of uh, clarifiers. Maybe having a look at the goddess guidance deck. All right, let's have a look at this broken heart. See what you need to know, Virgo. Last two here. Mm. Key message takes quiet time out for self, yeah. Quiet contemplation, meditation, rest. Oh, yeah. And if you've got some anxiety about your finances, also your emotional state, you've pulled Sedna, infinite supply. Just know that your material needs, your emotional needs are going to be met for today and all of your tomorrows. That's divine support. All right, what else do you need to know, Virgo? Yeah. You've also got the message to start delegating Green Tara. You've been doing way too much about asking others for help, whether it's in workspace or whether it's at home, in your relationships. Um, and you've also got the message, Una, easy does it. There's no need to worry, no need to push, no need to strive. Everything's happening in divine timing. All right, let's have a look at this attachment. What is it you need to know, Virgo? Mm. Some of you are feeling very sensitive at the moment, yeah? Emotionally sensitive, stressing. Um, people can be triggering you. Recognise it, take time out for self, yeah? Particularly for demands on your time and your energy. All right, let's, let's say it's three that want to come out here. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Isis, past life memories surfacing. You're recycling through the same old story that you're saying to yourself. Um, whether it's thought patterns or emotions, um, you need to pull yourself up when you're doing that. Um, absolutely. And um, recognise that you're doing it. You'll be surprised often when you start being consciously aware of how often you're saying things to yourself, particularly negative stuff, negative um, memories, experiences you've gone through, how often you're doing it on a daily basis, yeah? You've also pulled Bridget, don't back down. Yeah, stand up for yourself, your values, what you believe in. All right, let's have a look at this journey you're on. Highest level guidance for Virgo, please. Yeah. You got to treat yourself with unconditional love, Mary Magdalene, and others. Yeah, see the light and love in everyone. Forgive yourself, forgive others. It's the first card you pulled, really, in terms of the crystal spirit. Mm. Bodies of water are going to be super good for you, Soulless, just to rejuvenate. Yeah, restore yourself. Follow me on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, I'll put my handle up here. I take you on my hikes, my walks, show you how to balance and ground your energy. Oh, hello. For some of you, in terms of your material needs, there's a golden opportunity coming in. Important doors are opening for you. Um, it's about having confidence, the trust and faith in yourself to take those opportunities when they come. Yeah, because this wants to come out for you as well. If you've got a bright future there, like Shimi, stop worrying. Everything's going to be fine. Particularly those that have got anxiety around that. All right, let's have a look at the anxiety and the walking away. What is it you need to know, Virgo? Hmm. Situation is going to be handled in a fair and just manner, whatever you're going through, yeah. The divine sees all, knows all, as long as you're acting with integrity. Mm. Okay, it's two here. You've pulled uh, Rihanna, sorceress. You're a magical person. You can create what you, whatever it is you want to create in your life. Yeah, often the only things holding us back 
and old and stuck is ourselves, the things we're saying to ourselves. It can be old ways of being that you need to release and walk away from. Um, you're also getting the message to allow yourself to receive. Hey, Thor, yeah. I mean, it goes hand in hand with um, Green Tara, start delegating, asking others to help you, um, not doing everything on your, on your own. Also allow universe to help you too. Mm -hmm. All right, let's put you more clarified to the crystal reading deck. So let's have a look at the, uh, the top row, which is all about your uh, state of broken heart, needing some quiet time out, your infinite supply, your material needs being met. What is it Virgo needs to know at this time? Highest level guidance, please. Yeah. Joy will come back into your life, yeah. It's also about doing things that inject more fun and adventure and joy into your life. Um, mm -hmm. Actively doing that. Second message, to have compassion for yourself and others. Treat yourself gently. What else does Virgo need to know? Mm, God. Third message about forgiveness. Pink tourmaline. Forgive yourself. Forgive others. Uh, you have to cut the energetic cords and ties, particularly to memories, experiences, people. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't know how to do that, in Reiki what we do, right, is you've got your chakras here, you've got your heart chakra here. Uh, we generally hold the stuck emotions in our heart chakra and our sacral chakra, which is just below our belly button in the pelvic area. You picture that person, that experience, um, whoever it is, right, and you put your arms across your body. And you physically cross them, so like you're cutting the cords and attachments to that person or that experience. You can do it on each side, yeah, and behind you as well, yeah. Cut the energetic cords. You've got your ego at the back that you need to protect. You can do that as many times as you need to re to release that person, that experience from your aura and your energy field. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's dare I say have a look at attachment, which we've just spoken about. Um, past life memories coming up. Standing up for yourself. What is it Virgo needs to know? Mm. Need to apply flexibility to your life right now. Situations often speaks to being patient. Um, in terms of your uh, career life, path life, purpose, um, you've got the message that it's the perfect time to start with new ideas and projects you so desire. What else do you need to know there? Mm. And you need to step into your empowerment, sunstone, back into your personal power. Yeah, stop giving away your personal power. Mm -hmm. You have within you everything you need to change whatever's going on in your life. All right, let's have a look at the journey card and your uh, golden opportunities coming in. What is it you need to know, Virgo? Yeah, I said this, didn't I? Yeah, you've got to have patience with yourself. Patience with the timing of what's going on. Some of you absolutely need to seek a healer out, yeah, new might. Um, and part of that healing is around your sexuality, crokite. Some of you, the broken heart can be to do with cheating, deception. Uh, not your fault, um, unless you're the one that's instigated that and been doing the third party stuff. In that instance, you still need to forgive yourself, particularly for any shame or guilt that's going on. Um, it's about accepting this part of self as being normal, yeah. Uh, it can mean that you need to, if you've gone through third party situations, is to restore the trust, yeah. Trust in others. We want more. Yeah. Key message is to balance yourself. Get, get your feet on Mother Earth. It's, you've also got bodies of water there. Um, you've also got the shadow side coming out. Accepting the light and dark sides of self, um, forgiving yourself for anything that you've done. And some of you come into a spiritual awakening, yeah. Uh, this is tapping into your divine gifts and talents um, from past lives coming through, even energy coming through to you. All right, let's have a look at um, this other side, yeah, which is all about your anxiety walking away, things being handled in a fair and just manner. You have the ability to create everything, anything you want in your life. Yeah. Definitely some healing to be done here. Yeah. Heart healing, deep sign. Clear and clear quartz purification. This is all about the things you're saying to yourself. We've already chat we've already spoken about this, yeah. Emotions, thoughts. 
ways of being, old ways of being holding you stuck. Mm. You also got to take some time out for relaxation. Yeah. I'm going to say have courage to face the light and dark sides of self. Um, we're all part. We all have light and dark sides of self. Yeah, weaknesses and strengths. Uh, I'm going to say work on your weaknesses so that you can become more whole. Um, yeah. yeah. Particularly around your choices in love partners. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's pull you a bit more guidance from the messenger oracle. Let's see what you need to know. There you go. Highest level guidance at this time. Mm. You've got see yourself in nature, which is uh, appreciating your own divinity in nature, um, having a conscious regard for Gaia Mother Earth that supports us here on Earth. Um, great way to balance and ground your energies, as we've already spoken about. There's two more here. Mm. You've got heed your dreams, which is all about listening to the dreams, the messages coming through to you, because they're often from your subconscious. Mm. And embrace the masculine. Step out of your emotions. Stand in your empowerment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stand up for yourself. All right. It might also mean that you need to heal the masculine aspect of self, the side of self that learns how to put healthy emotional boundaries in place with people. Yeah. All right. Let's pull your crowning energy from the Kunyin Oracle. Let's see what you need to know. There you go. Highest level guidance at this time. Clear message, please. Mm. You've pulled Call of the Dancing Crane. That has not come out for a while. Let's uh, pull you up the guidance. It says Virgo. The dancing crane moves through waters and muddy marsh with elegance and grace. The mating call and dance of the crane is full of beautiful movement and flow. There are times when the astral waters of emotional life become stagnant and will benefit from a healing movement, grace and the beauty of the dancing crane. Oh, no wonder you pulled this one. The call of the dancing crane is a reminder that sound can be healing too. This is particularly so when your thoughts, your beliefs, your emotional patterns do not support you in living the spiritual destiny you were born to live. Have you ever felt like you're a different person on holidays or when you were traveling? This is because you were free of the astral gravity that you were usually living on a day-to-day -day basis. The astral plane is like glue. When we put enough energy of habit into thoughts, emotions, beliefs and stories from our past that condition how we interpret current life experiences, we can get stuck in astral gravity, unable to let go of ways of thinking and reacting even if we really wish to do so. We can create sticky astral thoughts and beliefs that attach to houses, places and people. When we're in a different environment, we often have the chance to create fresh habits and beliefs, which is why a holiday or travel can be so refreshing and inspiring. Sometimes, however, that's not practical. We need to take a break through the muddy stagnation of our old thoughts and beliefs right now. As we grow spiritually, we outgrow our astral conditioning, just like sifting mud out of water, so we can move more freely and gracefully like the dancing crane. If we can accept the healing energy to help us filter through our psychological programs so that our thoughts, beliefs and emotions can create new habits and patterns more aligned with what we would like to experience in our lives. These filtered energies can become more powerful than old stories about life that no longer support us in living according to our spiritual light. Healing the astral waters can require great patience, persistence and application to be achieved. The dancing crane uses dance and sound to thrive and you're encouraged to use movement such as dance or yoga and sacred sounds such as chanting mantras or healing names such as chanting mantras or healing names of the divine, such as Kunyin, Dancing Crane Goddess, to support your healing. You may intuitively feel that movement in a physical sense to a different location, such as going for a walk or a drive to a different park or beach might help you. If you've been feeling that you need to move to a different location, 
change situations in your life or connect with new groups of people with whom you feel more inspiration, then this oracle is confirming this intuition and encouraging you to embrace those changes in your life. You're being guided by the grace of Kun Yin through this healing vibration of the call of the dancing crane to stop believing in your own stories, your old habits and patterns, and to realize they're simply astral conditioning. There is no higher truth to them than this. You are allowed to change them. You can choose to cultivate any thoughts, beliefs, and interpretations of experiences that you like. Sometimes we're graced with divine assistance, which helps our astral healing happen more quickly and easily. We still need our affirmations to change our thoughts and to let go of old stories about our self-worth, abundance, health, relationships, judgments about ourselves or others. Yet with divine blessing, it is like we get a hand lifting us up out of our old ways until we learn to stand in the new vibration on our own. You're being asked to allow her to assist you now. She might come to you in meditation, through a healing session or in a dream. You may see her as a crane goddess or hear music and sound that uplifts you into a new vibration. You may feel her guidance in the urge to create a vision board or to say affirmations or a mantra in a desire to dance or do yoga. Allow her to guide you in the perfect way for you to receive her divine blessing and help so that your affirmations, your vision board made of inspiring images that you love and your choices to interpret incoming data as evidence that the universe loves and helps you become more powerful than the pull of your past. So in tune with your reading, I've got to say, the message is coming through. All right, there's a healing activity here which says, sit quietly and be aware of your heart space. Imagine that you can look up through the crown of your head and see, sense or feel a radiant ball of pure white light with vibrant neon flecks in the centre and a radiant neon rim around the edges. And say, just listen, yeah? I call upon the electric violet light to cleanse my astral field of all negative energy now through the grace of Kun Yin, so be it. Perceive that electric violet light pouring like an endless river through the crown of your head, down through your body and out of your feet, flooding out through the centre of your being until you are a huge column of electric violet light that grows larger than the room you are sitting in. Rest in this for as long as feels good and finish by saying, I now call the grace of Kun Yin to help me manifest higher vibrational thoughts, beliefs and emotions that support my soul, light in a joyful and fulfilling life experience here on earth now, on Manny Padme Hump. Then imagine within your own heart, you can see two cranes dancing elegantly, calling out to each other playfully, feeling joy and delight. Imagine these two cranes represent your soul and the soul of Kun Yin. Allow there to be freedom and dance between your souls. When you're ready, breathe in and out, and then open your eyes. You might like to complete this process with a bath or a foot bath, including a handful of salt in the water to finish your cleansing process. And uh, there's an affirmation here to finish off your reading and it says, Beloved Kun Yin, Goddess, falling through the dancing crane, may your sound, your grace and your light shine brighter than my doubt or fear. May your light help my own soul draw near May I surrender that which no longer serves me with unconditional love and replace it with inspiration of your divine love on Shanti. Wow. Key message here, Virgo. Walk away, release it. Yeah, let go. Move forward. Mm -hmm. All right, if you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do read all the comments and do respond. Might take me a little while, so just be patient, yeah. Um, don't forget, grab your coupon code if you want to get $10 off the 45-minute extended personal reading. Everything you need to know is either on this video or in the description box below, yeah. There is a chance to win a personal reading with me. It's drawn monthly. Competition's on the homepage of my website. Go and check it out if you so desire. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste.